Hey guys, I'm Itab Elliot here. I just wanted to make a quick little video, um, actually to, to get some feedback about uh, child abuse. And because my uh, neighbor in the front uh, has been being abusive to their child, and I've called facts on them, and um, they hit their child yesterday, and um, it was a spanking. I, I know they hit them. I, I recorded it, um, saying some really terrible things to their child, like "You're so fucking lazy," um, "Shut up," many times. Um, "You're getting on my fucking nerves." It's a two-year-old little girl, and uh, so it, it, it's just been going on and on and on. And she's so wonderful with her. She's got a business uh, with uh, taking pictures of children, of babies. So wonderful with the babies and so happy sounding. Then when she's alone with her daughter, she becomes this raging, angry person. Takes it all out on her daughter. Anyways, um, so my question is um, to you, if you can give me some feedback, is I find a lot of information online, and a lot of people have sent me some things because I've posted this on my Facebook. I've not named any names. I'm not going to. So I'm not into that. Um, a few people know where I live, so they're going to know what my family knows about it, and that's partially from my own protection because I have called facts. Um, and so, what I really want to know is, do you know of any resources um, that are geared towards the mother and the father and not on controlling and dealing with anger issues with children? Because all the uh, books and things seem to be about um, dealing with the issues of the child. And the child is not the issue here. And I would say the child is not the issue in most circumstances. It's almost always the parent. Um, and it's almost always that the parent, because the child is doesn't, they're not angry and they're not having issues uh, when they're born. They're not born this way. I mean, unless maybe they're autistic when um, perhaps they, they're having issues with overstimulation. But generally speaking, and widely speaking, um, the issues are always with the parents dealing with their own projections and their own anger and their own fears and taking it out on their child. And so, and then the child learns these aggressive behaviors and replicates them and emulates them. So what I want to know is if you know of any resources um, that are specifically geared to parents that have anger issues. Um, because, like I said, everything I've found seems to be about, you know, helping the child. And I don't think it's, um, I know in this situation, and I know in many other situations, I know other people that uh, treat their children with abuse. Um, and I'm not going to name any names. Uh, but um, if this makes you angry, it, then it could be you. <laughs> Let's just say that. But anyways, um, I just want to, I want to know for my own personal use also because I like to learn new things and possibly to pass on some information to these people, you know, aside from, yeah, okay, meditation, you know, I, I can teach all that kind of stuff and, and how to, how to release yourself and, and uh, breathe and, and uh, just become aware. But there must be some resources out there because there's just a plethora, a myriad of, of resources about fixing your child. But really, we really need to fix ourselves. And then as we, if, we, if we can do that, when the children are young enough, they won't, they won't replicate and repeat our, be, our, our bad behaviors and, and create their own bad behaviors. And we'll be able to, you know, I know there's conscious parenting and all that, but it still seems to be about dealing with the child. And I want to know if there's any parenting resources that are specifically about dealing with the parent's own issues. So if you have any advice, um, please comment below or send me an email. My email is amitabelliot at gmail.com. It's A-M-I-T-A-B-H-A-E-L-L-I-O-T-T -T at gmail.com. I love you. Peace. And have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.